Hi, Ms. Johnson. My name is Lee, and I'm one of your nurses, and I'm going to be doing an assessment on you today, okay? okay. So I'm going to ask you to do some things. You just let me know throughout this process if you have any pain or if anything is a little uncomfortable, okay? I'm going to wash my hands. And let's get started. All right. And what I'm going to do now is just kind of looking at your, your head and seeing if there's any um, abnormalities in your scalp. Looking for hair, evenly distributed. All right, and I may need you to uh, remove your glasses in a, in a few minutes, so we're just going to put those to the side. Um, so now, looking at your, all right, when we see skin um, on your face and everything, no blemishes, no lesions, uh, so that's good. I uh, need you to, we're going to do some things uh, like checking for your cranial nerves and seeing if any of there's any abnormalities or anything with that. So I'm going to ask you to open your mouth, close it. Okay. Did you feel any popping? Do that again. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Smile for me. Now frown. All right. Good, very good, very good. So what I want you to do for me now is um, I'm going to give you some objects in your hand and I want you to tell me what they are, okay? Close your eyes. Cotton ball. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Um, all right very very good and so now we're gonna try something just close your eyes is that soft or hard soft. soft or hard hard very good gonna do that same on this side so you'll see what it was that I did. Is that soft or hard? Soft. Hard. Very good, very good. Okay, just remove your glasses for me. Okay, look look at me. Oh, your head up, tilt your head up just a little bit. Okay, eyes are clear. Conjunctiva is pink. Sclera is white. So very good. All right, right, let's see here. And I just want you to look straight at me. Very good. So the other thing that I want you to do, look at me and without turning your head, follow my pen. I'm going to do the same thing. You tell me when you don't see. I'm going to do one flickering with my fingers. You tell me when you don't see it. Okay. Very good. So what we're going to do is next, I want you to, we're going to do an eye exam. So my um, videographer if you will, just kind of go to the side, get your glasses. I'm going to have you stand right here. So we're about 10 feet. All right. And so you can show the eye chart here. All right. So what we're going to have you do, since you wear glasses, go ahead and put them on. And then cover one eye and then just tell me at what level you can read which which line. Here are the lines one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. Tell me where you can read. Six. Eight. Okay, I mean eight. Okay. Go ahead and read it for me. D E L P O P E C. Okay. The other eye. 
Tell me where which line. That you can read clearly. B E L B E L P O P P C. All right. So let's for the sake of the camera, that is 2025. Both eyes. Okay. Just have a seat. All right. So now what we're gonna do. We want to look at your ears, okay? And we're gonna do is just hold your hair back, okay? All right. And the pen in, and the oracles are even. Everything looks good on the outside. And I've got an otoscope. So we're gonna try and look. Let's see what we can see. There. Okay. All right. Okay. Get your own little perforation. All right. Everything looks pink. And we are good to go on that. Let's see. Look at your nose. Okay, mucosa pink. Nasal septum is a uh, midline. Now, what I need you to do is hold one side and sniff up. Okay, other side. Very good. All right, remove your glasses again for me. Okay, check in. Sinuses here, frontal. All right, very good, very good. Check in your left nose here. All right. Very good, very good. The left nodes, soft and palpable, uh, nothing hard. Everything is intact with that. Um, okay, now what I'm gonna do is ask you to open your mouth so I can check inside, if I can get my tongue depressor here. All right, just say ah for me. What we're gonna do. Ah. Very good. Very good. All right. No lesions. Because of pink. We've already did the, the TMJ when I had you know, like that. If you hear a popping sound, that uh that means you have some issues with your TMJ joint, which is right here at your jaw. Okay. But I need you to clench your teeth for me. Hmm. Just close your mouth. Okay. And bite down. Okay. All right. And I'm going to try to, yep, you, you try to click your mouth closed. I'm going to try to open. Okay. Very good. Very good. All right. So now we've done the, um, I didn't tell you what uh, left nodes they were. And then that's the tonsillar, periar, oracle. Um, submandibular and then uh, the other one uh, submental I'm sorry all right so now we've got to do the clavicular and the substernum very good very good all right now what I need you to do put your chin chest chin to your chest okay Turn your head side to side. Well, lift your head back up. <laughs> okay, straight, just look straight at me. Okay, turn side to side. All right, ear to each shoulder. As far as you can, yep. Okay, very good. All right, so now um, 
what I want you to do is put your hands up, spread your fingers like this. Okay. Um, make a fist. Okay. And press against me. All right. Push. Okay. And then push down against me. All right. Hold your arms out. All right. And then now touch your nose. Okay. Put it back. Same thing with your other arm. Okay. Now speed up that process. Do it as fast as you can. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So now, let me see. What we're going to do. Well, first of all, let me feel. Okay. Unless we know we got a pull. Right, good. Very good, very good. All right, no brewery. Now, uh, that's the one thing I want you to do that I forgot to get my water, but do you feel like you can dry swallow for me? Okay. I'm gonna get back just a little bit. Okay, about to roll it. Now swallow for me. Okay, again. Wonderful. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to try to have you to turn around. We had not quite figured that one out yet. Um, and we may have to get you in a chair, but I'm not sure. Do you feel like you can turn around on the bed for me so I can get the view of your back so uh, my video can get the view of your back? If you turn that way and put your feet up yeah. for me. No, just sitting up. You all sit up. Uh -huh. Just put your feet up there. Okay. And sit up. Alright. So now, there we go. Alright. So what we're looking at is the back. Okay. If you can, turn a little to turn your feet towards the window. Yeah. And then we'll just turn you around. Alright. So now, you see the skin here of the back. And I'm going to let me see the, the skin of your back underneath here. Okay. So what I'm going to do next, when I touch you, I need for you to, uh, to say 99. Okay. So when I touch you and I'm listening, I want you to say 99. Okay. All right. So right now though, I'm just touching. Okay, now I want you to I'll do it again. So now I'm going to take this, uh, what's called a reflex hammer. Okay. Um, no, because we're still doing this um, assessment on your back. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing then is listening for a thump or a thud, and I'm checking the air pressure in your lungs. Okay. Wonder. 
wonderful, wonderful. So now what I want to hear is breath sounds. And I just want you to breathe normally for me, okay? Deep breath in and out. Maybe a little too close. I said you maybe a little too close. Take a deep breath. Okay. Again. Now tell me if you feel any pain any pain okay very good very good all right so now what we're gonna do is we've already done your reflexes uh we're gonna do the I want you to turn around if you can for me Checking the other upper reflexes. Now, put your hands out, palms up. Okay, palms down. Stretch your hand, fingers out. Okay, make a fist back up. All right, and we're gonna, okay, push up against me. Okay, now we're gonna do something to check your reflexes. Now, I'm not sure for what side. I think you should relax your arm. Just put your arm back down. Put it right here. Okay. Okay, good, good. All right. So now, just relax your arm just like, yep, just let it swing. Just let it swing. Don't move it. You just relax your arm on my arm. Just like. You relax your arm. And just let it, let it swing. There you go. There we go. Did you see it? Okay. All right. All right. So now we have done all of that. I am going to now need for you to, uh, I guess, well, I can do your pulses while we're sitting up. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Very good. And all right. Capillary refill is less than two seconds. Very good. And the regular the rate is regular on all your pulses. Radio. Thank you. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to draw a number or, or an alphabet in your hand. And I want you to tell me what it is, okay? Close your eyes. sweating because it is very 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 hot in here okay now i have already done the uh, the placement of an object in your hand you were able to tell me you know what it was we've already done uh, the reflexes and we're gonna now get you to lay down we're almost to the end of our assessment 
<laughs> you need a pillow behind you. <laughs> so, alright. You should, wait a minute. You need to scoot down or something and put the. <laughs> Might need to get this one. Okay. There we go. That's the neck roll. Is that good? Alright. Inspecting the chest. Normal rise and fall. Breathing doesn't look labored. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. So now we are going to listen to heart sounds. That's one. That's two. Pulmonic. Tricuspid. Mitral. I may have to take off my glasses because they're sliding off. So just bear with me. Her breathing is unlabored and it's regular. So we're going to listen again with the other side for the rate. Glasses are sliding. Rate is regular, rhythm regular. All right, so now we're gonna look at your abdomen. I'm gonna raise this up just a little bit. And in your pants, pull them down just a little bit, right there. Okay. Okay, abdomen undistended. All right, so we're gonna listen. We're listening for bowel sounds here. All right, bowel sounds noted in every quadrant. Now, the ring, left ring, right ring, and the aortic artery. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do about the same thing I did to you on your back, okay? And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feel, see if there's any Okay, now this time it'll be a little deeper. All right, so the, um, we're supposed to be able to do a quick pants back up. Check for your liver in just a moment, but to keep you from having to turn around, flip around, do all that, We'll check that in just a minute. So now, uh, if you can, put your head that way so that the camera can see me checking for your liver. Okay, so now what we need to do, <laughs> we, we need you to flip back around 
so that I can look. Well, they may be able to see it that way. Can you see her legs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at her legs. Uh, hair is evenly distributed. Skin looks good. No, you know, lesions. All right. Um, feel for the popliteal pulse. You just leave your legs just like they are. Yeah, the dorsum is penis. All right. There's no edema. There is no um, any abnormalities at all. All right. So now, and uh, let's see. That might be the best angle to do the, the legs. So I want you to lay, raise up your left leg for me. Okay. Put it down. Right leg, okay, put it down. Bend your left leg up to your knee. Okay, put it down. All right, same thing. Okay, very good. So now, I want you to push towards my hand. Okay, now do the same thing here, push back. All right, very good, very good. All right, turn your knees inward. Okay, now outward. All right, there's this. Okay. It's going to feel a little funny. Forgot to tell you that. Okay, wonderful. All right, so now we're going to need you to sit up. And just let your legs fall off the side of the bed. And here's where I'm going to need my videographer to come around. Okay. So now we're at the end and what I'm going to need you to do. So let's figure out how we need to have you walk. So walk from here to there with on your heels. All the way. Okay. Walk back onto your tiptoes. Okay. Stop right there. Okay, now, <laughs> now you can get down off your tiptoes. Okay, hop on one leg. Okay, that's good. Hop on the other one. Just hop one time. You have to, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll have a seat back here. So, what we're gonna do now, I need when you sit down. Now, just like as if you were trying to scratch the back of your leg of a mosquito bite with your toe of one leg, take it down. Yeah, all the way down. Okay. And the other side. All the way down. Awesome. Now, here we are at the end of our assessment. Now, according to your health history form, You've had all of your uh, immunizations. You had surgery in 95 for a tubal. Uh, hysterectomy in 20, uh, 20, 2002. I'm sorry. So you have diabetes. And so what we're going to do, and I'm going to sit this right here because what we're going to do is we're going to discuss a little bit of information about that so I've got a few notes because I wanted to make sure that I covered some things with diabetes with you. So now tell me what you understand about diabetes. What is it? What does diabetes do? Some folks have not enough insulin in their body. Some folks have too much, I guess. Okay, and so yours is type two. Yeah. Uh, when did you last see your doctor? About three months ago. Okay. So 
Is it time for you to see her again? Most likely, yeah. Okay. You remember what your last A1C is? Was? Oh, 6.3. Okay. Okay. So what medication are you on? Metformin. Okay. And you're taking that every day as a doctor prescribed? Yes. Very good. Very good. Do you smoke? No. Okay. All right. And so family history, we've got a little bit of your family history. So your mom and your maternal grandmother had diabetes as well. Okay. Um, the other thing is, are you on a diabetic diet? Yes. Okay. Okay. So do you know kind of what that entails? Do you check your blood sugar regularly? Yes. Okay. All right. And so... A lot of times, if your blood sugar is too high or too low, it can kind of mimic and have some of the same side effects. And I want you to know that uh, the shakiness and the irritability you may have, the only way for you to definitely know is for you to check your blood sugar regularly. That's when you'll know whether it's too high or too low. Now, I've got a form here. It kind of, you know, tells you a little bit about what diabetes is, the different types, uh, some of the symptoms, and how it's diagnosed. So that you already know because you've had it, the A1C. Your normal would be uh, a 5.7 if you were not diabetic. However, anything 6.5 and above, so you're right there at the range where you're basically controlled. So you're in the pre-diabetes uh, range right now. So, do you get regular exercise? I noticed that you're a primary caregiver for your husband, mm -hmm. who's disabled. So, um, you probably get a lot of exercise with that. Yes. Um, and then, just to let you know, of course, you know some of the complications of uncontrolled diabetes is potential for eye problems, dental problems, um, you can lose your teeth, you can lose limbs, and ultimately you can die. So I remember in um, your health history, I was looking at your mom. Um, she had bile, she was a bilateral amputee, and uh, she also had a stroke. So that's one of the side effects. So you want to make sure that you keep your blood sugars under control. You want to make sure that you keep your blood pressure under control. And that every time it's time for you to go to your doctor that you keep those appointments because it's very important. Every three months, they check your cholesterol, they check your blood pressure, and we didn't do the vital signs or any of that today. We had already previously done that. So we didn't do that today, but I want to give you those things because yearly, you want to make sure that you check in your feet every day, but yearly you're gonna have what is called a foot exam. When you go for your comprehensive diabetic appointment with your doctor, they should be checking your feet. You should also, I see you wear glasses, so you go, do you go every year? Mm -hmm. Get your yeah. eyes checked, very good, very good. So that is very important to keep those. I wanna give you this, and at the bottom it's got a reference. You have access to the internet, all right, do you know how to get on with a tablet or with a, your phone or computer? You can go to the American Diabetes Association and get additional information at any given time about diabetes. And I want to thank you for allowing me to do my assessment on you today. And that concludes your assessment. Do you have any questions? No. Thank you so very much.